Okay, I'm back. Uh, I did some work off screen. Uh, I did some work on the tires. Went ahead and finished this tire up, and this did this tire as well. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and made the whole flaring uh, in the front of the car here black. That way, it gets cut out. Again, that's a personal choice. Uh, you can just outline it. That's what makes each uh, pattern unique. Okay, what I'm going to start with right off the bat now is um, eliminate some of this uh, shadow in through here. I already removed some of the shadow, the shadow that was over in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this area. And scroll down here to the shadow. Alright, I'm going to get this out of the way. All right, now I'm going to change my op opacity so I can see what's going on in the color section here. So with my brush picked and white color, I can see the outline of the tire here. So I'll click there, uh, push down on my control key. No, not my control key, my shift key. And outline the tire here. Like so. Okay, change the opacity again. See what's happened here. Okay, you can see there that I have an outline. Now I got to come. All I got to do now is come back and remove the rest of the black here. Like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this uh, brush. Remove all this black. Okay. Zoom out. There. All the shadows gone. Okay, the next thing I want to work on is this area in through here where the license plate is at. <clears throat> A couple things we could do here. We could leave the number there. Or we could take the number off and customize it when we uh, uh, take the image over to uh, Inkscape. So, one thing we can do is, I'm going to go ahead and enlarge here. And we can make these numbers uh, stencil, or we could cut them. And the way we do that is by picking a white color. Uh, and then, I'm going to click there. Uh, hit my shift key. Let's do that again. Hit my shift key, line it up, and there you go. Now that's uh, a stencil. Same thing with the number four. Click right there, bring it down, and there's your four. The rest of the letters are okay. Or the other option is to, like I mentioned, is to just take all that out of there and customize it with a name or another number. When we take it to, to Inkscape. Okay, I'm going to enlarge this brush and take all that out of there. I'm also going to, let's see, what else do we have in here? Okay, ha, huh, there's the Great Britain symbol. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. See what we got what we got going. Okay, eventually I'm gonna darken all this area out here and this area here. So that means that we're gonna have to come in here with a bridge all the way across so we could get some wood in here. So the best way to do that is go ahead and click here with the white again. Uh, Hit your shift key, go in that direction, shift key, go in that direction, and here we have some uh, some uh, uh, blaring from the sun, as you can see there, 
So I'm going to zoom in in that area. We're going to remove that glare. I, I know I said blare, but the glare. And pick my black color. I'm going to change my brush size. Click here. Hold down the shift key. It's about right there. And do it, do it again in the bottom. There we go. This one. There. Oops. Uh, let's do it. try it again here. From there to there. Color that in. From here to there. From here to there. Color that in. Get some of these other areas. Let's see. We're going to change our opacity again. See what we got going up here. Okay. We're going to start right here. Shift key all the way over here. Color this in with the black. Okay, opacity again. We're going to darken this area out here. Darken some of this area. Darken this. Okay, now we need to uh, create some bridges here so we can get into into these area with some wood. And I'll work on the other side off screen. So <coughs> I'm going to make this uh, brush a little bit smaller. Maybe about oops, got to change my color here. And click on my mouse and bring it all the way out. It looks kind of funny, but you got to have them there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to zoom out again. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to take out some of this background uh, black that we don't need back here. Let's pick a good size brush. And there's some more black over here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in again. Control row. And <clears throat> I'm going to white out some of the top of the top of the car here. Let's get a bigger brush. Only because I want a better defined line up there. Oh, that's going to be white anyway. When we get done. Okay, opacity. I'm going to pick this brush here, select black, and start right here. Hold down my shift key and try to follow that outline. take it down okay opacity again you can see that we're going to have to do some work in this area and don't care too much for that there so let's go ahead and take it like so change my color of my uh, brush Get this a little bit out of here. I'm going to enlarge it again. Zoom in. Uh, okay. And I'll work on this down here off screen. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is, uh, is I'm going to convert this into a JPEG and take it over to uh, uh, Inkscape and see how it's coming along. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is going to come up here to File, uh, Save As, and I have already saved it as Cooper as a uh, GIMP file, XCF. So I'm going to come down here and s click on Select File Type. Scroll down to JPEG. Click Save. Export. Uh, it's at 85% quality I'm going to put it at 100% click save and there we go I'm going to go back and save it again as a GIMP image file save replace there we go okay now I'm going to open up uh, Inkscape here's Inkscape come over to file click on import uh, there it is, Cooper JPEG. Click on that. Come down here to open. Uh, this window pops up. Click o uh, OK. And it should come up here. And there it is. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, make sure it's selected. It is. Come up here to Path. Uh, click on trace bitmap this window pops up click OK just takes a few seconds there it goes now we should have two images here I'm going to zoom out a little bit come on okay so which is the bitmap Another way is transparent. This one is not transparent. If you look at the page behind it, and we scroll this uh, uh, in front of it, you can see that it's not transparent. This one you scroll, uh, you drag it over the page, and you can see it, that it is transparent. Transparent. So that is the bitmap we want. Click on this one. We're going to go ahead and delete it. And let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, uh, I don't think I can see here that probably could round off this area in through here. Uh, I could probably do a little rounding off here and making this more even. Um, this is the other area we worked on. Need to do a little work right there. So this gives you an idea of where you're at, what you need to go back and work on. Um, I like always doing this quite often as I'm creating a, a pattern on GIMP. Bring it back and forth into Inkscape and, and GIMP and back to uh, GIMP and tweak it out. Let's see how the top of the top of the car is looking. It's looking pretty good. So now it's just a matter of uh, <coughs> continuing, deciding what we're going to do with the interior. Uh, the lights um, over here we have plenty of uh, uh, bridges so we could have some wood oops have some wood come in into this bottom area so as I said we gotta have plenty of uh, good sized bridges to come in here to cover all this area in here another thing that I'm gonna have to deal with is this grill here whether we wanna detail it out or just black it out and again putting bridges in the lights bridges in the lights and touching it up okay I'm at 14 minutes okay um, I'm gonna be working uh, off screen and most likely I'll come back with a finished product on GIMP okay see you then